tournament at first consisted of two teams, and in five years it became impressively large scale. This time it welcomes 88 teams from six divisions. They are Kyiv, North, East, Center, West, and South. All of the players have combat experience in eastern Ukraine and consider sports a tool for rehabilitation. The rehabilitation really works here, because tomorrow you have to go to work, take your duties, go to the Joint Forces Operation Area, and your state will be completely different. Here your brain can take a break from the bustle in your work. It really is a break here, a real rest. The championship was organized by the ATO Participants Football Federation and the NGO Ukrainians Together. The teams competing today don't have any professional football players. This is the only championship where 100% of the players are participants in the war. We don't have a goal to create some kind of professional championship. We just support the idea of holding as many competitions for Ukrainian defenders, for soldiers, as possible. The tournament will last through fall. On October 14th, the winner will receive the cup at the Valery Lobanovsky Denemo Stadium. Reported by Ole Shumeko, UATV.